Hey guys, it's your boy Tristan and welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. We're just getting around to doing the movement, but we haven't done collision testing yet. Um, and you'll probably notice a couple changes, like I've got this uh, really, really thin wall over here, and I've also bumped up the speed for our character, just for demonstration purposes, you'll see later. So if we take a look at our step event, there's a couple changes that we're going to want to make to our code in order to implement collisions. Now this is where it happens, so say we're moving in the x direction, we're going to want to check every time if there is a solid object in front of us, and if there isn't, then we'll go ahead with this code. If there is, we're going to have to do something a little bit different, so I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so this is what I was talking about, so this function here, place meeting, it takes an x, a y, and an object. So this x and y is the point that we want to check for this object existing at. And obviously this is the object that we're checking for. So in this case we're checking if there's not, that's what this exclamation point means, if we're checking if there's not a place meeting, the place that we want to move to, and for a parent solid. So if there is no solid object, uh, in this case we just move. If there is a solid ob object there, then what we're going to want to do is we're just want to uh, set the x velocity to zero. So that'll stop our player if he hits a wall. Uh, well, it'll actually stop him before he hits the wall. Now, uh, in the y case, we have exactly the same code, it's just with y's instead of x's. So if we go ahead and run this, it's a bit of an improvement. So as you can see, we can run around and hit walls and we'll stop at the walls which is quite nice. But there is a problem. Say for example we're running at this wall full speed, so our x velocity is about 10 when we're going to hit this wall, and it's going to check if there's an object 10 pixels away from us. So watch. That's it there. When that object is 10 pixels away from us, so x plus x velocity is x plus 10, we're hitting this wall and we're stopping, because the program has told it to stop but we're not actually on the wall yet, we're, we're 10 pixels away from the wall, so when I let go of the W button, he snaps back flush with the wall, and we want to prevent this, we want him to just go flush to the wall in the first place, and then stop at the wall. We don't want any of this uh, behavior that is happening here, so that's what we're going to do now. So in the else statement, this is what I've added. So this is a little trick that um, is used for stuff like pixel perfect collision checking, which is what we want to achieve. So, so if there is a solid object in the way, um, 10 pixels ahead of us, for example, like what happened just then, instead of just stopping, we're going to do this first. This while loop, we're going to do this first before we just stop. So what this while loop does, let's go through it. It checks while there's not a place meeting one pixel ahead of you. So say for example there was 10 pixels ahead of us like what was happening last time, instead of just stopping we check to see if there's a pic if there's a wall one pixel away from us. And if there isn't then we move one pixel in the direction that we're already going. And then we do it again. Alright so, say for example we're traveling at an x velocity of 3, 3 pixels per frame. So what our program would have originally done without the while loop is it would have checked three pixels ahead of us, so one, two, three, it sees that there's a wall, a wall right here, so he just stops, and that's it. We can keep pressing the W key, but he won't move flush with the wall until we let go of the W key. So with the while loop, what the program does is it detects that there's a wall three pixels ahead of us, and then what it does is it enters the while loop. The while loop won't exit until it breaks. So the condition for the while loop is there is not a wall one pixel ahead of us. So it checks that. Is there a wall one pixel ahead of us? No, it's just blank space. So then what it does is it moves one pixel. So it just moves one. And then the while loop loops back around and checks its condition again. So it asks, is there a wall one pixel in front of us? And then there's not. So it goes one step more. And then the while loop in this case would break because its condition is when it loops around, is there a wall directly in front of us? The answer is yes, so it breaks and then it continues on with the code and then bam, we hit x velocity equals zero and we stop flush with the wall. So that is how the while loop works. 
so I've done that for X and Y. So let's take a look. So as you can see now, it works perfectly. When I hit the wall, I stop at the wall, not before it, at the wall. So that is how our collisions work.